It's a process. And in any process, we need to start um, from the beginning. And they are examples that we, we have on the continent. In Southern Africa, you're more or less using one currency, more or less using one currency in Southern Africa with a rand and Namibian dollar, which is pegged to the rand and, and other countries. In West Africa, you have um, ECOWAS, uh, sorry, you have the UMOR region who is using a single currency. So there are different processes that exist already. The question is how do we converge all these different processes to have a single currency? And in everything, it takes time. It takes political determination. And most importantly, civil society and citizen engagement to understand what it means to have a single currency and the risk and rewards of such process. So all these processes and all these decisions require individuals to be informed, seek the information because it's available. Um, one can look at the most recent um, development in that case, which is the European Union moving to the euro and the process that it took for them to get to the single currency. So, Yes, we want to have um, a single currency. It is a possibility. It will take time. It will require processes, and we need to understand what it will mean for an Ivorian to change his, to have a single currency um, when it is a continent. What it will mean to have a single currency for an Ivorian wanting to trade across the continent. It's possible, but we have to understand what it means.